Hey guys, just a quick tutorial to show you how to write, route Skype into Mumble uh, so that you can receive a Skype call um, into Mumble while you're doing a podcast um, and the Skype user can hear what's happening in Mumble and the Mumble users can hear the Skype user in a dedicated Mumble channel. <coughs> so the first thing you need to do is enable multiple Mumble sessions to run. So just open a Mumble client as you normally would. Make sure your configuration settings are fine, that you've got your line in, your line out um, properly set up. And then go ahead and connect to your usual um, server. To open a session again, or a second session, a second client, you need to make an adjustment in the properties of Mumble. So right click on the Mumble. Um, uh, icon bring up properties you guys will see this in the target um, text box straight after the quotation goes space minus M and apply it that will enable you to run multiple sessions a, sec a second session so go ahead and run mumble again and you'll see a second client come up. Now, if you were to try and connect straight away, what would happen is that when this one connected, this one would kick out and then it would go into an endless cycle. So this step is important. Go into Configure, Settings, Network, and make sure that Suppress Certificate and Password Storage is clicked on. Apply and OK. Then you can go ahead and create a second instance of your server to connect to the same settings. Like you can see I've already done it. So you'd go add new, um, give it whatever label you like, um, put the same address and, IP and port um, numbers in. I'm using local host only because I'm on a local server um, here. Uh, you put in whatever IP address is assigned to this server. Give it a username, I've called it phone because it's our phone uh, channel. OK. And should be able to, should be able to connect mm -hmm. now. And you can see that now I've got two users in my Mumble session, uh, my primary and my phone channel. Next thing you need to do is to enable uh, routing so that when you run Skype, the input and output from Skype uh, runs into and out of Mumble through this client so that um, the audio um, for this client is essentially coming into and out of Skype. So before you run Skype you need to go and download this program, it's called Virtual Audio Cable. Um, it does cost 25 bucks um, but it's well worth the spend for what, what we're trying to do. Um, I would download the trial version first to make sure that everything uh, runs on your computer fine. Uh, the trial version has a audio overlay every 10 seconds saying trial, so it's not usable for recording on playback, obviously, but for the purposes of installing and testing um, and not wasting your 25 bucks, um, download the trial. Once you've downloaded the trial, it comes down as a zip, so just unpack it and then you will get uh, this file directory. Depending on whether you've got a 32 or a 64-bit machine, go ahead and run up the setup. Um, I've already done so and then you will have control panel sitting in your start menu go ahead and open it up and you'll be met with this none of this you need to worry about all you need to worry about is that there are two or at least two cables here okay so you have one and two set up here these are your virtual inputs and outputs um, cables that you're going to run between Skype and Mumble so if you've got two set up there, that's fine. Minimise that. Go ahead and run Skype. Now I've already set up a account for our phone-in guests. So you need to make a few adjustments in the audio settings. Now you can see I've already done it. So you will see in um, your settings, you'll see your microphone and your speakers. You can see I've switched it to my mic now and it's registering a volume. What you need to do is direct these two or these inputs and outputs through to Mumble. 
Now, microphone is basically what's being received from Mumble because it's taking the place of your microphone if you were talking to the Skype caller. Speakers is what's being sent from Skype to Mumble because that's basically the guy talking to you. Okay, so if you just and if you've set up virtual audio cable correctly, you'll see a line one and a line two in this list. So go ahead and assign line one to your microphone, which is your output from Mumble, and line two to your speakers, which is your input to Mumble. And you can also set the ringing tone to line two, which is your input, um, so that if Skype rings, it'll register in here. Click Save. I'll just open it up again for reference. So once you've done that, then you need to adjust your input and output settings on your phone Mumble client um, to hook up. So go into Configure and Settings. Your input um, will be the output from um, Skype. So it'll be line two. And you need to, for transmission, instead of push to talk, because obviously the Skype caller can't push to talk, I use voice activity, which is set on um, either signal to noise, I use amplitude actually, it's a bit better, a bit cleaner. And you can adjust your settings so that um, the sensitivity comes through nicely. Um, then go to your output, call line one. Okay, so remembering the microphone is what's coming out of um, Mumble into Skype. The speakers is your output from Skype into Mumble. So input for line two, input for speakers, output line one, output to the mic. That's all you need to do. So once you've got those set up, click apply, and you should be good to go. Now. Hello. You can see now that that um, trial overlay voice on virtual audio cable is now coming through. When it comes through, um, you should see the phone lips light up. Trial. Like that, right on cue, which means that we're getting a signal through from Skype correctly. Now, in a moment, I'll just tack on the end of this video um, a little test that I've done with Skype. I recommend trial. what you do is get someone to call into your Skype account that you've set up after you've done all this just to test all your settings and clarity and all the rest of it um, but my tests work pretty well so that's it um, nothing else to do Trial. Um, shut up um, pretty simple pretty fail safe and a really good way of getting third parties into your podcast using Skype um, when asking them to install and configure Mumble is not an option. So have fun with that and uh, happy podcasting.